Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about uh, some interactive widgets of Streamlets. So first of all, we will see the checkbox and uh, then we will uh, study all other interactive elements. So first of all, let me write here st.chgck checkbox, okay. Now this checkbox uh, have bunch of properties, okay, and we can pass different types of arguments to this checkbox like the label of the checkbox a very basic property okay and then we can pass the uh, default value of the checkbox as you know about checkbox checkbox has only two states the true or the false state so the de default state of the checkbox is false so with the help of this value property as you can see here with the help of this value property we can change the default state of the checkbox okay and then uh, we can pass uh, the on change or callbacks events of the checkbox okay and we can also assign a unique key or identifier for this checkbox in order to distinguish between this checkbox and all other checkbox on the same web app okay so first of all let's pass a label argument here and i will say chck checkbox okay so this will be the label you can assign any type of label this is just a name okay so if i save it and it will always run and here you can see we have a checkbox okay and this is the level okay and now if i pass here the value property and v a uh, value is equals to so default value is false that's why this checkbox is unchecked but uh, if i say value is equals to true uh, then you will see that we will have a tick here okay uh, and yeah this is our tick okay and this is how checkbox work now this checkbox return us this value as well okay so if i save mm, stat state is equals to checkbox okay and then if i say if my stat state is true okay and then uh, i will say st dot writ write hi okay hi and if else if the state is false so we will do nothing okay so just pass it p a w s pass okay uh, save it and yeah hi because my this checkbox is uh, checked okay so if i uncheck it hi has gone okay and if i again check it hi okay so this is how checkbox work and now let's talk about some other arguments of checkbox and its callbacks okay so the one important property of this checkbox is this uh, on check okay so okay on check property okay so if i say on underscore check so this pro sorry what i did okay so on underscore check is equals to this okay and uh, this uh, this checkbox basically call this property whenever someone changes the state of this checkbox okay uh, if it is true if we make it false then this checkbox will call this on change callback okay and if it is false if you make it true then it will call this on change callback okay and now we need to define here the callback function and let's create a callback function here def and i will say uh, ch ng change okay and uh, i will go with simple stuff here and i will just print a message okay print uh, and that will be ch ng changed okay ch okay sorry C H I N G D changed okay save it uh, okay close it i know very well we have an error okay don't make me okay so here uh, i just need to uh, type the name of my callback and in this case the name is change okay save it now and let's rerun it okay and if whenever uh, i sorry just close this power shell okay uh, okay so if i uncheck it okay so sorry we just uh, need to delete it let's rerun it uh, strem stream strem stream l i t r u n m a i n man dot p y okay uh, hit enter okay done okay yes here is uh, my output okay so let's uh, uncheck it okay so changed and then let's check it changed okay so this is how this on change property work okay and now let's talk about uh, the another uh, feature of this checkbox and that is the 
key or the id or the identifier of this checkbox so if i write here key by key is equals to uh, let's assign a unique key and that will be chck your checker okay so it's cool and now what i'm thinking that uh, with the help of this key i will access this checkbox okay and then i will print the state of this checkbox and i will do this whole process inside this function okay so just remove this thing and now instead of change i will print here the state of my this checkbox and for this purpose you just need to write here st dot se double s i u and session state okay and then dot and then your widget key okay and in that in this case my widget key is c h e c k your checker okay let me make sure it's checker uh c h e c k your checker okay and let's save it and now always rerun and here if i uncheck it false okay so and if i again check it true and if i again uncheck it false so this is how this callbacks and this key work okay and this uh, session state work okay so i hope that uh, you have understood uh, almost each and everything about checkboxes okay and now let's talk about the radio button so radio buttons uh, are very very easy and cool widget of streamlit okay so we just need to write here um, r a d i o underscore b t n radio button is equals to uh, s t dot r a d i o radio okay now this radio widget also takes uh, so many arguments okay and uh, i will not go through all these arguments because uh, if you work on streamlit you will automatically understand all of these arguments but uh, i will discuss uh, some of the important arguments and the first one is the label for your radio button and in this case i will say like uh, uh, in which C O U N T R Y. In which country uh, do you L I V? Do you live? Okay, so this is like a question. Uh, our label. Okay, so in which country do you live? And then uh, I will uh, type my options. And now in this case, the options of radio buttons should be a tuple okay so i will write here option options is equals to this will be tuple and i will pass a tuple and i will say us then put comma then uh, uk okay then put comma and then i will say uh, c a n a d canada and uh, let's save it okay and yeah we have a uh, a label here okay and then we have the us uk and canada okay and uh, you can also print uh, the option of this checkbox uh, of this radio button as well okay so if i write here um, p r i n t print print what i need to print i need to print already are your radio buttons okay and save it and here as you can see us okay so if i select uk you will see here uk and here is my uk and if i select canada here is my canada okay so this is how this uh, radio button work and again uh, this radio button also supports this on change and this cre uh, key property okay you can assign the, any callback to this radio button and you can assign a unique identifier to this button as well and just play with this with these interactive widgets okay you can create a very very cool and interactive uh, web app using these interactive streamlit widgets okay and now uh, let's talk about the buttons okay and i hope that uh, you know very well about buttons and no website or no web application can run properly without buttons okay so now uh, just write here btn button is equals to st dot v u double t on button sorry be you double t on button okay and then this button also has a bunch of properties like labels and then uh, we have uh, an other new property inside this button and that is on click okay so whenever someone clicks on this button this property automatically execute the callback function okay so just write here a label for the button and i will say c l i c k click me okay click me and uh, then what okay so then i will also uh, assign on click event to this button as well okay so on underscore c l i c k on click is equals to and in this case uh, let's create 
a function for this button and I will say def btn underscore c l i c k btn click okay v r i n t print okay I will print a simple line like uh, b u double t on button c l i c k d button clicked okay and I will assign this callback copy it and paste it here okay and let's save it and uh, okay so here we have this button and whenever i click on this okay so button clicked and we also get this canada option and the reason is that uh, whenever we click on some interactive widgets uh, the that interactive widget basically rerun the whole web app coding and that's why we are getting this type of output and in order to avoid these type of problems and errors we will use forms and uh, containers and we will talk about forms in the upcoming tutorial don't worry if you face such type of error and but uh, for now just uh, make sure that uh, you should understand the logic of these interactive widget okay so i hope that uh, you have understood how the button works okay and then uh, we have uh, select boxes and multiple select boxes okay so select boxes basically allow us to select a single thing okay while the multiple select boxes allow us to select multiple uh, objects or things okay so let's uh, uh, go with the select box first okay so s e l e c t select is equals to um, i will say s t dot s e l e c t select box okay and then this cell uh, inside the select inside the select box i need to pass my label okay and i will say the um, what is sorry what is your f a v o u r i t what is your favorite car maybe okay what is your favorite car and then we need to pass the options as well okay or pti on options is equals to and you can pass an array or a tuple okay so i will go with tuple and i will say like uh, a u d i o d okay and then we, uh, my second option will be um, b m w okay and uh, my third option will be f e r r e r i i don't know whether the spelling is correct or not but yeah this is what i pronounce it okay so just save it and now yeah we have this uh, uh check box select box basically and this is my label what is your favorite car and by default it has selected our first option that is audi and if i click on it you can select bmw you can even select ferrari okay and uh, you can also print the stat of uh, or the selection as well okay so if i write here sorry uh, if i write here print P R I N T print uh, S E L E C T select okay and for now let uh, me comment this part okay let me comment this radio button sorry radio button okay radio button okay save it and uh, rerun it Let's rerun it and uh, okay so we have selected here audi by default and as you can see we have audi here and if i select uh ferrari you will see ferrari here and if i select bmw you will see here bmw so this is how this select box work and now final thing which i will discuss in this tutorial is the uh, multiple selection box okay uh, AMU, I will write here M U L T I multi underscore S E L E C T multi select is equals to uh, S T dot uh, I think M U L T I multi select okay and uh, I will I also need to pass here a label and the options okay and as you can see we have on change property here as well and you can assign a, a special type of key to this multi select. Uh, widget as well okay and just play with all these things because i hope that now you know very well about these functions okay so let's assign a label to this and i will say oh, what is uh your f a v o u r i t favorite uh g p u or what i will say what is your favorite uh tech brand okay tech brand what is your favorite tech brand 
okay and uh, i will pass my options or ptis options is equals to and uh, okay so again just close this thing okay okay so options and inside this options i will say uh, m i c r o s o f t microsoft okay and then i will say uh, a double p l e apple mm, i will say a m a z on amazon then uh, o r a c l e oracle okay just save it i think it's enough and uh, let's uh, rerun it okay and okay so what is your favorite tech brand okay choose an option you can choose an option you can even select multiple options here like my favorite one is microsoft and then my favorite one is this oracle okay so as you can see you can select multiple option you can remove these options as well okay and uh, you can print these options on your terminal on or on this web app as well okay so if i write here uh, p r i n t print or not print i think i should uh, print them on this web app okay so just write here st dot w r i t st dot write okay and then i will say m u l t i multi select save it okay and now I'll always rerun and okay so currently our list is empty okay so if i choose microsoft as you can see we have microsoft here and if i select amazon as you can see on the second number we have amazon and you can remove uh, these two options with one click using this uh, little cross icon okay so if i click on it again we have an empty list okay so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and you have understood some of the basic interactive widgets of streamlit and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye